Let's expand this discussion. We're joined now by the principal investigator of the study, Professor Kangelani Zuma of the Human Sciences Research Council. A very good evening to you, Professor Zuma. Thank you for your time. A slight uh, decrease in HIV prevalence for okay. all ages. Um, as we look at these statistics from 2017, what strides have been made to influence this uh, decrease? Thank you very much. Um, as we see the numbers showing a decrease in HIV prevalence, but safe to say that um, uh, the decline is mostly among younger people. Among older people, we see an increase which is associated with an aging epidemic, showing that uh, actually people now live longer with HIV and AIDS. And the contribution to that could be, and most probably, the increased number of people on uh, antiretroviral treatment, as you have correctly reflected that the numbers of people accessing treatment has increased from 2017 at 63.3 to just over 80% at the moment. However, even with this increase, we are not at a point where we should be in terms of uh, putting people on treatment. But also just to add that over and above the prevalence of HIV, what we have shown now is a, a decline in HIV incidence, which is the rate at which people get uh, infected or new infections uh, over a period of one year, which has decreased down to 0 0.44 uh, per 100 person years uh, this time around, uh, down from 0 0.54 per 100 person years in 2017. Mm. Gender dynamics uh, play a key role with data showing that females continue to be disproportionately affected by HIV. What are some of the contributing factors? Uh, we need to understand the dynamics of HIV in the sense that uh, there is higher risk of transmitting HIV from a male partner to a female partner than it is the other way around. So that is one of the issues that uh, actually needs to be understood in terms of the dynamics in HIV transmission. So also one of the challenges that we continue to see is that of uh, older males uh, continue taking advantages of young girls and therefore putting them at risk of HIV. And that is what continues to make a big contribution into HIV epidemic this uh, 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 sexual partnership with, with uh, young females, with, uh, with older males. That contributes a lot into the HIV dynamics. What are some of the key objectives of the survey? What did you set out to assess and find as you look at the trajectory? The study intended to estimate the prevalence of HIV in the country. That's the burden of the disease. Uh, at provincial level uh, and also at district level. So we've got sufficient data to show the numbers uh, down to the district uh, and also to respond, uh, you know, to provide the estimates uh, of HIV incidence in the country, uh, estimate the numbers of people in the country that are on ARVs and also the proportions of people that are virally suppressed uh, in the country. And the numbers are showing an increased number of people that are on treatment, as we've seen, and also an increased proportion of people that are virally suppressed. However, what is of concern is that uh, among young people, 15 to 24 years of age, they are the least to be on treatment. If you look at the numbers, only 63% of young uh, boys and girls, the youth 15 to 24 years, are on treatment compared to other age groups who are at about 80 or even above 80 percent and also the viral suppression fewer boys and girls within the ages of 15 to 24 are viral suppressed so this is an indication that we are not doing enough mm -hmm. in terms of putting young uh, our youth into, into treatment and this is a, a serious concern a lot needs to be done uh, to put young ones uh, into treatment and having them uh, test uh, to know their HIV status. What are some of the recommendations you're putting forward with that information? One is that uh, we have to promote uh, our U equals U, uh, undetectable being equal to untransmittable, 
and ensure that uh, people get to know uh, their HIV status uh, and so that those that are uh, testing positive um, immediately put on treatment. So there must be a drive to make sure that people uh, get to know their HIV status. Moreover, uh, we need to involve communities in the work that we do. Communities uh, must be at the center of the work that we're doing. And also, uh, for young, the youth, the 15 to 24 year olds, we need to develop strategies that will be centered uh, around youth, that will be uh, led by the youth, so that uh, it should not be we who are living with uh, aging actually impose uh, our thinking to the young ones, but all these should be led by young people. With older uh, men continuing to take advantage of, of younger uh, children, women, what messaging do you think is imperative on that front to help with the reduction and curbing the increase in HIV infections? We, we do need to condemn the conduct uh, in the strongest possible terms. And wherever uh, this happens, we need to encourage uh, uh, condom use. However, we need to prevent this uh, kind of relationship as much as possible as this contributes to, to the HIV epidemic. Uh, and also we need to uh, strengthen programs that would uh, keep young girls at school. This has been shown uh, to delay uh, early sexual debut among youth and also uh, strengthen uh, the programs that uh, are aimed at uh, assisting youth in dealing with HIV epidemic and also uh, uh, getting them to know their HIV status. What would it, and we what, also need yeah. to ensure that... What were some of the, also need to the, the factors, that, uh, pardon me? The men themselves do get tested. Yeah. What were some of the factors that you found, perhaps looking at uh, societal factors that you found to be influencing the, the rate at which uh, younger uh, girls are, are moving within the older men? Um, you know, what were some of the influential factors that you found and uncovered as you conducted that research? The... The study focused more on the drivers of HIV epidemic rather than uh, what uh, uh, drives, uh, especially or what in, uh, 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 put, for example, we focus more on behavior among young girls uh, and everyone, of course, in the study, but what we see among young people, especially those aged 15 to 19 years, is that they engage in sexual partnerships with older people got challenging condom use. Uh, if you look at 2017 uh, up to 2022, we've declined in the numbers of people that are using condoms. And also people starting sexual uh, conduct at young ages is one of the persistent problems that we face uh, in the society. And also uh, people not testing and not knowing their HIV status. What we found was that actually only 58% among youth have ever tested in the last three years. So that's a very long period. Uh, and only among, especially among those 25 to 49 years, who at least in the last three years, 74% of them have tested. So we need to engage in a drive that is aimed at getting everyone tested for HIV so that those that test positive could actually be put on treatment. Very well. Thank you so much for weighing in on this discussion. They're just uh, breaking down the components of the research. The principal investigator of the study, Professor Kangelani Zuma of the Human Sciences Research Council.